Hello guys, welcome to this channel. Let's talk today about the WiseNet. If you can't find your cameras using the WiseNet device manager, here I have the solution, okay? So basically WiseNet cameras or Samsung cameras, same brand, right? It's also Hawa camera. So when you're using the software, you click here, search. Sometimes you can't find the camera of the network, right? So my computer is connected to the same network as the camera are but uh, the WiseNet cannot find it. So the first thing you, you need to check is the firewall, right? When I uh, start the software, the firewall pops up. So I need to allow this, the firewall to, I need to allow access, right? To the firewall, right? So I click here, allow access. And then I try again. And here you go. It works immediately, okay? So it finds the camera the network. So if you don't see the pop-up here, you can come here to the Windows Firewall. So just type here, Firewall. Then you have Windows Defender Firewall. And here, what you can do is just enable or disa uh, disable the firewall here. So here on and off, you come here and you can turn off the firewall at least uh, until you use the software here and you find your camera, all right? Then you can come back here and enable the firewall again. You can work like this, or you can also come here and bring this firewall again. You just type here firewall and you use this another option here, Windows uh, Defender Firewall with Advanced Security, right? Click here and then you can add a rule here. You can come here, inbound rules, new rule, and look for the software that you want to add to the to the firewall, okay? So here, uh, this program path, you can just look here for WiseNet. So you come here on Windows, Program Files, x86, and you look for WiseNet. So let me look for it. Here we go, WiseNet, WiseNet Device Manager, and WiseNet Device Manager.exe. Click here, Open. Next, allow the connection and domain, private, public. I will allow all of them. Next, give it a name, WiseNet Device Manager. Okay, you can leave a description if you want to. Click finish and you're ready to go. Okay, so the software is going to work. So that's the firewall, basically can have a rule for the firewall and sometimes you can also check here if you are trying to look for different connections you see he has here two different ips that are connected via wi-fi that's my computer and sometimes i have here like virtual computer if you have virtual computer you're gonna see different ips here and then you need to disable them let me just show here when i click here with the right button Open network, no, not this one. This network settings, here we go. Ethernet, change adapter options. And then you see all the options that you have here, okay? For Bluetooth, it doesn't matter. I don't care about Bluetooth here, but you have connection for Ethernet, another Ethernet and Wi-Fi, okay? And then if you have more connections here, like virtual server, for example, you can just right click like this and disable, okay? I'm not going to disable mine because this is a Wi-Fi connection and it's working, right? But if you have different connections, you can come here and disable all of them. And then you can test again here with the WiseNet device manager is going to work. And the final thing that you can do is just come here to the network and click delete ARP. And here it just delete the ARP and then you try to find the camera again and it's going to find your camera in the network. Okay, then as long as you have here the login for your camera and everything else, it's going to work. Then you bring the live view. And here you go. I have the camera pointing there to the wall. It's up, in, in, it's up and running pretty fine here. Okay, so that's it. You can find your camera that way. If it doesn't work, you try the firewall. You include a rule to the firewall and also can clear the, uh, the ARP and check if you have more than one interface, right? Working in your computer. 
So I hope you liked this video. If you like, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.